So to see with a flipped classroom is the way to work that magic to get them excited. Over to you, Pranesh. Thank you, ma'am. Now I want to be empathetic with the timekeepers. I want to put into your shoes and think, are we on time? I think we have to close at 11.45. We are okay? We have Prashant sir's talk also. We get the tea. I want sir to talk about AI. That's much more. That's probably great. Brilliant. I agree to, to my seniors and, and the esteemed guests that the generation has changed. I know it's frustrating. Uh, but I still hold by my students. I'm, I may be the odd man out, but still I believe that we have changed the way we treat our patients. Are we still treating the patients who we, how we treated them 10 years, 20 years back? No, things have changed a lot. It's a, it's a patient-centered healthcare. It's a student-centered education. That's it. So yeah, so after they, can I have? So after they dance and drink and they come for the next day's class, they sleep, <laughs> sleep off. Um, now, now we're making them learn. We are giving them some material so that read and come. What do you think is the biggest negativity or the bad thing about flipped class? Flipped class means we're just flipping the class. We're giving them the topics beforehand. So what, what, what do you think is the biggest drawback? Sir, suspense is lost. The number one reason why flip class fails. Yeah, exactly. The player should train in the practice field before they come and play cricket, right? It's IPL and, and uh, what if they don't train and come? There is no cricket happening, right? The umpire is lost, what the hell is happening? Audience are also clueless. So in fact, the, the lecture hall is gonna be like a cricket ground, right? In this regular class, so we are the, the teachers are going to be the players and we have the audience watching us and uh, whether you want to play test cricket or T20, it's up to us. Which draws more attention, IPL, not test cricket, right? So that's important. But here, sir. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly, that also fails. You're assuming that we are preparing <laughs> under that assumption. <laughs> So the onus is now on the students to learn. So are they preparing? If they don't, the flip class fails. That's a disclaimer. But we're assuming that they are preparing. Let's move on. The flipped classroom. I'm coming back to the conventional slideshow. I made this you know, uh, wanted because I want to get a feedback from you, whether you like the whiteboard one or this. I want to get a real-time survey. Right, so we all know what a flip class is. How many of you have conducted a flip class? Brilliant, two, three, four, good. I've been uh, a participant, I've been an audience of a flip class and I've conducted flip class. I've been at both the receiving end and I know it's a str struggle to be a student in the flip class. The anxiety I had to undergo when my professor asked me a question, right? So it all depends upon how well I prepare and, and I have always prepared the day before. I'm guilty of that. Sir, no. yeah. <laughs> so, it's, it's, it's simple. So in a traditional class, the lecture happens, then we give a homework. In flip class, it's ulta. You remember this ulta perk? This was a nostalgia. It was a very w nice strategy. Ulta perk means they will have the chocolate inside and the nougat outside. So essentially, flip class is ulta class, right? So there are three levels which I always try to bring in when it comes to this flip class. Quickly, the level one is priming. That is where the most of the efforts happen, like what Sir said. Our efforts, teachers' efforts and students' efforts, everything happens on the first level. That is priming their brains to read for the class and come, which is the biggest struggle. But how we can make it happen? I always overdo this. What I do is I do a lecture. Unfortunately, uh, there'll be some of lectures you've already done before. So I give them to the students beforehand. Hopefully they watch them. But it is a, uh, see, 48 minutes, nobody will watch them. Now they have Instagram generation, right? 
So I've now made, made these things into small reels and I give them. So those who want to watch 48 minutes, they can watch. Those who want to watch one minute, they can still watch that. So I give them an option. That's where we have to be strategic. I know this is too much on our efforts as a teacher. This is not my job, right? Uh, why should I make this and convert this into multiple short reels? But if that's how the students learn, we have to go to that. This is a controversial statement. You might agree to that. It might be overwhelming. But considering that we take that effort, how we can easily make it? How we can give a very simple video? Simple. Record the screen. Attach a microphone and talk as you move through the slides. We have a PowerPoint presentation ready. Now that is a multi-purpose thing. We can use it for your YouTube channel. Right? We can also share that to our students. Students also can watch that. If you think that it's a bit of a trouble, a time-consuming process, we can do this. Open the PDF or, or the PowerPoint, share it as a PDF or a presentation, give to the students beforehand. It's the simplest way of flipping the class. This is something which I did for, for the flip class, what we had for Amblyopia. So please look at the variety of, this is a DOS article which students love, postgraduates love to have this. I'm giving different types of articles. One article is a question and answer. One article is a study. And you can see that another article is going to be just a flowchart. When you give this variety of options, this is cafeteria approach. Choose what you want, but read and come. I don't care whether you read the day before or 20 days before, but you will have something to read. You will not have any excuse not to read because I've given you everything. The ball is in your court. That's what I'm trying to say through these materials. Participation. Whatever Professor Helena was saying, use all the tools and strategies to participate. In that Amplioper Flip class, we had case scenarios. Excellent way to bring problem-based learning. <coughs> Make them talk. Here, the players, the cricket players are the students, not us. Debates, wonderful way to stimulate their knowledge. Go crazy, go creative. We can have so many ways of making them interact. One is called as Mentimeter, which uh, Professor Mel Helena was mentioning, which I can show at the last. Which is a very useful tool. Mentimeter is very simple to use. How many of you use Mentimeter? Okay, what? It's a brilliant tool. I would highly recommend you to use it. Very easy to make. Mentimeter. This is what I do as a first thing. What you had for breakfast. So students will can log into this. Okay. Even now you can log into this and you can type. I had idli, sambar, vada. Okay. So this is called word cloud. This gives lots of responses. This is called icebreaker. The very first question will be an icebreaker. What is your favorite flavor of ice cream? You will think these are all irrelevant questions, but this kind of captivates retention. We are trying some, something different, going to their level and trying to pick it up. At Moorfields, before they do any talk, they put up this for any lecture, for any audience. It's a nice way to warm up the audience. So that's the key. Divide into roles and groups and make them engagement. Just share some of the things what I made for my students. This is one of the MCQs which we made on thyroid disease. Students would prepare and come. I will give this entire PDF. They will do this MCQ at the onset of the class. And we use this document to discuss the class. This is one way of flipping it, using a quiz, using a multiple choice question. Another way is, for my students at Moofields, we give this entire PDF one week before the class or even two weeks before they come for the placement, and they read and come, they prepare and come. Hopefully they prepare and come. By the end of this week, we discuss this. I go through this. So what I do is, I take this PDF, and I make it my own way. I use notability, like I discussed. For example, I make it a much more interactive way I mask these, then I answer, ask questions. So easy to make. Doesn't require much efforts at all. Then I give this as a PDF for them as well, as a post thing review. These comics. So make it more interactive, make it more interesting. That's the whole point of it. Rashman sir would be knowing about this 
experts in teaching FICU, FRCU, we can capitalize on that. Exams, this is going to be the hook. I understand, accept that without exams, they won't read, sir. I won't read, sure. Exams will be my immediate relevant goal. That's what I also use the same strategy for my students as well. I know my students in UK, they prepare for this UK MLA, something like a US MLE. They have an exit exam. I took pain to understand how, what question bank they are reading. They use something called as Passmate question bank. That is what they read. Then I go to the Passmate, I subscribe for that. Then I took questions. Then I photograph those questions and it put it on my folder. This is the Passmate. See that? I was very surprised the way medical students are learning ophthalmology. Do you think we will learn this? As a, something which I will learn as a PG trainee, but not a medical student, but they have to do this. So then I use this as a format to teach them. I use this in my flip class. What I do is, I take one question and I prepare a lecture out of that. This is one question. Take one question and make a video out of that. Right. The last level is we are stimulating them to produce something new. What is the output? They have prepared, they have interacted with them, but what's the output? That's going to be the key. Give them an assignment. Extend the flip class beyond the classroom. It's one of my students, I, she was here now, okay. she's not here. She prepared these notes after a flip class. A notes for her exams. Not everybody will do this, but we can just point and say, you can make this, it'll help your exams. Exams, hook. Retrospectively, what I could have asked from uh, my students is that, go to iPad, open up App Store, and try to see Amblyopia exercise apps. That would have been brilliant. Capitalize on the youth, they have an exuberant energy. We have to make use of them. I know that we are frustrated, but that's how they are. Like ma'am was saying, her daughter, there's a big generation gap, right? So, so daughters don't listen. If daughters, our own sons and daughters don't listen, how can the students listen to us, right? That's the ultra class. Just want to end it here. Uh, easily, we can flip one level at a time. Don't have to do everything. Prepare a class and can just give a PowerPoint beforehand, let them prepare, let them have the class. I hope it was clear, the flip class. Thank you so much again for the patience.